Okay, I'm just going to do a review of the Night Fox Whisker. I um, had it for about a a week, maybe two now. Um, first part of this video is going to be what's in the box. If you want to skip ahead, it will be specs um, after that. I'll, then I'll look at the settings and then following that, I'll have a bunch of uh, photos and a couple of videos from what I've taken with it. So in the box, obviously, the whisker itself. Um, it did come in a little plastic bag, um, but oh, I've lost that already. Microfiber cloth. You get this strap um, to go around your neck so you don't drop it. These just attach to these two metal things on the side. Easy enough. Uh, you get a USB that you can slot uh, your memory card from the binoculars. Um, you can put it in the USB and it goes into your computer. You can st see them all. Uh, your memory card is stored just on the left hand side just above the USB-C charging port. Um, obviously you get your charger you don't get a plug with it because you can do it from uh, a laptop which suits most people uh, onto the specs you um, you get 10 times optical zoom uh, using the front left uh, dial you get um, 8 times uh, digital zoom um, the field of view is 57 degrees they also say you get a, a 300 meters range I think it's fair to say you, you can uh, 300 is probably at the edge of where you can make out what's going on but as you'll see later there's a couple circumstances where you could even see a bit further uh, one thing I did want to know that I didn't know this had and it wasn't advertised when I bought it was um, being able to use a night vision without having infrared on so when you have the infrared on I won't do it now because we're indoors but you'll see a red glow coming out of here so if you're trying to stay hidden for whatever reason you'll normally be seen but you can um, do it with out having to have the red glow and give yourself away um, it's not as good obviously as using the infrared but it's definitely nice to have and it was definitely better than uh, nothing at all uh, the settings uh, all you have to do to get into your settings is hold down the fifth button back and then it's self-explanatory from there and in there you can change everything to do with like uh, the camera and when it takes photos uh, such as um, contrast exposure um, and also you can do software updates on there as well so as you're looking through these uh, photos you're probably going to want to pause it because I only put them up for one second um, on a few of them I put the uh, range that the objects were at how much zoom I was in and what settings I was using so you can see the difference just uh, some of my own thoughts on uh, the whisker the IR zoom so with the infrared there's a dial on the right hand side and that can focus the IR beam if the IR beam is on its widest setting it's a bit of a faint uh, display but when you zoom it in it just highlights it a lot more something else I found is that the pictures you're seeing if you're thinking oh it's not great quality or it's not as good as I hoped when you look through the device it actually looks uh, better than the pictures I've put up. The reason for that, I believe, is when you press um, the button to take the photo, you kind of move the device a little bit, and so that's why they're a bit blurry. I think the film shows it better, but yeah, the quality is better when you're looking through the device. 